a female Islamic State group member accused of letting a five-year-old girl die of thirst in scorching sunlight is facing war crimes charges in Germany. The 27-year-old German, identified as Jennifer W., and her husband brought the child as a house slave. Indy is occupied. Iraqi city of Mosul 2015. Her husband chained the girl up outside after she fell ill, and Jennifer W. did nothing to save her. Prosecutors say she also faces murder on the weapons offenses charges. If found guilty in the terrorism card in the city of Munich, she faces a maximum sentence of life in jail. The five year old girl was among a group of prisoners of war when Jennifer W. and her husband bought her. German men did say the child may have been a member of the UCD minority, many of whom were captured and enslaved by it as the militant group swept across northern Iraq in 2014. After the girl fell ill and wet her mattress, the husband of the accused chained her up outside as punishment and let the child die in agony of thirst in the scorching heat. Prosecutors said in a statement, the accused allowed her husband to do so and did nothing to save the girl. Jennifer W. traveled to Iraq in 2014, where she became a member of this self-styled morality police. The allegations against her say her role saw her patrol parks in Mosul and another is occupied city, Thaluyan, armed with a Kalashnikov assault rifle, a pistol and an explosive vest. Prosecutors said her task was to ensure that women comply with the behavioral and clothing regulations established by the terrorist organization, said the statement. Jennifer W. was arrested by Turkish police months after the girl's death, after she visited the German embassy in the capital and a tour into her identity papers. She was extradited to Germany, where she was initially allowed to return to her home in the state of Lower Saxony. Because of a lack of evidence against her, German police arrested her in June as she tried to travel to Syria, and she has been in custody since then. No date has yet been set for the trial. Mosul was liberated from its last year after a three-year occupation, and the group has now lost almost all the territory it controlled in Iraq and Syria, a popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Hu Awa's chief finance officer, Man Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan province said it would waive the $9.65 yuan ticket fee for anyone carrying a Hu Awa phone. Miss Man, who was given bail in Canada, faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones, shoot grand photos on the mountain. A notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, We wish friends around the world, who support Huawei's success and bliss. The offer would last until 29 December. The South China Morning Post reported, but it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Who are way full owners are being offered other enticements to be can get a 20% discount at a border in Beijing. See in Beijing, bring a who are way full and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday HTTPS. T. QXL19YPQLPIC. Twitter. Com soccer love. End of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G. At least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpad Shenzhen, based lead and display manufacturer offered subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors, a lab misman, 46.
Use the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions on year of between 2000 and May and 2014. They also alleged she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei, and that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Ms. Mann, who is the daughter of Huawei's founder, has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of Huawei's high-flying errors. The United States has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second largest smartphone maker, since 2016, believing that it used Skycom to bring United States manufacturing equipment and millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions. Ms. Man's detention comes amid an increasingly acrimonious trade dispute between Washington and Beijing. China is angry at her detention, saying she has not violated any laws. Beijing has threatened severe consequences unless Canada releases the executive since her arrest. Two Canadians, a former diplomat and a businessman, have been detained in China on suspicion of harming national security. United States President Donald Trump said last week that he might intervene in the United States Justice Department's case against this man if it would serve national security interests. I'll help achieve a trade deal with China. If I think it's good for what will be certainly the largest trade deal ever made which is a very important thing, what's good for national security? I would certainly intervene if I thought it was necessary, he told Reuters news agency. Canada reacted by urging Mr. Trump not to politicize the situation. Our extradition partners should not seek to politicize the extradition process. I use it for ends other than the pursuit of justice, Foreign Minister Christy of Freeland said. Two Scandinavian women tourists have been found dead in Morocco with cards to their necks, the country's interior ministry said. Both bodies were found near the town of Imleo in the High Atlas mountain range, near the foot of North Africa's highest peak, Mount Tepco. The women, from Denmark and Norway respectively, have not yet been named. A police investigation has been launched into their deaths, the Interior Ministry statement said. A popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Huawei's chief finance officer, Meng Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan province said it would waive the $9.40 yuan ticket fee for anyone carrying a Huawei phone. Miss Man, who was given bail in Canada, faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones, shoot grand photos on the mountain, a notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, We wish friends around the world, who support Huawei's success and bliss. The offer would last until 29 December, the South China Morning Post reported but it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Who are way for owners are being offered other enticements to They can get a 20% discount at a border in Beijing. Seen in Beijing, bring a Who are way phone and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday HTTPS. T. QXL19YPQLPIC. Twitter. Com Soccer Love. End of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G. At least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpad Shenzhen, based lead and display manufacturer, offered subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors, a large misman, 46. 
used the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions on Iran between 2009 and 2014. They also alleged she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei, and that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Ms. Mann, who is the daughter of Huawei's founder, has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of Huawei's high-flying errors The United States has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second-largest smartphone maker, since 2016, believing that it used the Skycom to bring United States manufacturing equipment and millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions. Ms. Man's detention comes amid an increasingly acrimonious trade dispute between Washington and Beijing.